I asked Congressman Ruben Gallego to walk me through what happened in the House chamber as the rioters got closer. The combat veteran of Iraq told me he left deeply saddened by the fear he saw in a little girl. I did not realize that, you know, the Capitol Police had been overrun. Congressman Ruben Gallego thought he heard gunshots outside the House chamber. And as soon as I saw them locking doors, I, well, I took off my jacket. This is why I don't have not in my suit, because I thought there was something was about to go down. Some members panicked. Uh, one of them took down a hand sanitizer uh, pole, took it apart and made it into a club. Other people were looking for other types of uh, weapons. Gallego's training told him the House needed to evacuate. I was really nervous. We have a lot of elderly members. Um, I think there could have been some violence. I, they were hyperventilating while they were putting on these gas masks. I was trying to tell people to stay calm and breathe slowly. Finally, rioters at the door. The House was abandoned. As I was leaving, I turned back and took a picture of the protesters trying to enter uh, the door and be, having it you know, being blocked by furniture. It, it looked like something out of a zombie movie. But there's one image the congressman says he can't forget, a staffer's little girl crying while the riot raged. I've seen my you know, friends die, but to see a young American feeling threatened by another American, it was um, it's disheartening. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News.